All right, well, this is about activating community, and I wanted to engage the crowd. So I need uh, some people just to bring some people in here that might not know what EOS is, so we can activate them. But uh, we're back. Come on. But yeah. Travis. Yeah. We're out. Out. All right. So uh, today's presentation is uh, it's about crowd and how to activate your community. All right, so what is a community? Community, group of people, sharing the same place, something in common. We're feeling a fellowship. A result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. So today, I'm thinking everyone in this room, this is our community. So instead of having a normal talk, I wanted to engage people. I know we're usually flipping at our phones and, and doing stuff. So. Today is going to talk, I'm going to just mix it up a little bit instead of going through all the slides and, uh, and make it a little bit maybe a little bit more interactive. Um, so engagement, what am I what are we going to try and do and do today? Uh, I'm going to try and involve you and uh, going to reward you to engage. All right, so the first thing, pull out your phones, who has a uh, show of hands, who has a telegram? All right, for people that have Telegram, who doesn't have Telegram? All right, we have two people. Somebody, Dallas, you can get, make sure you go you know, download Telegram. We have some time here. If you can help, uh, help the, you know, our friends. Who else doesn't have Telegram? I saw, I saw someone did. All right, if you go to Telegram and go to our, uh, our page, our crown token, You just say hi, say hello, say you're in the EOS you know, pavilion. We're going to give you some crown. Second, let's just stop there. Let's. Uh, I need some help, maybe from uh, from some of my people in the crowd. If you go into our Telegram, um, I have a bunch of crown to reward all the people crowning people. So don't worry, <laughs> you're going to get some crown back. But uh, let's just do an experiment and give everyone a thousand crown, everybody that just, just popped into the channel. While you're doing that, I'll give you a little bit of history of what, uh, where we've come from and what crown is. Uh, we're obviously on EOS. Uh, we, uh, we were the first DAC or distributed autonomous community on mainnet. Uh, what attracted uh, at least myself to that type of structure where we have members that have an active uh, role in a community is I've been involved in cooperatives for a long time and my vision and what I want to bring to the ecosystem, to the world, uh, to the future is just that. Uh, I can see in my past what is really built equity. <clears throat> to people that usually don't cooperate. I've dealt in agriculture where people are competitive and usually would not work together. Um, how do you find common ground? And what we've done in the past is, is cooperatives. But there was a lacking element where we didn't have the transparency or the time or even sometimes the space to bring everyone together. Um, so when I first at the first you know, launch of EOS, when I heard Luke Stokes up at the you know, front of the room talking about that he was going to incentivize a community and have a, a group within a group, uh, some of the questions were, was this going to be really valuable for, for EOS and, and how are you going to reward these stakeholders? And, uh, and yeah, it was a changing point. I knew that it was home in the right platform and that it was going to be really messy Governance never is, is, is simple, that we're going to make a lot of mistakes, that it was going to fail a lot of times before we got it right, but that finally we had something concrete back on a blockchain that we could build on and do an experiment. So that's what we've done, is we put ourselves out there and said, we're going to put a, a DAC on main, mainnet, we're going to do the experiment, 
And we're going to see if people are ready to accept this. And uh, to start with, it's our small community. We've done just this, where everybody I see, I go through these steps. I'm trying to engage them to show them, come and check out what we're doing. The goal is, it's a big one. But when I see people shine and, and light up with a smile or doing something nice to them or just spending some time, I see that people just want to be rewarded for what they feel is meaningful. So this tech is fantastic and all, but really, what do you really want at the end of the day? What do you really want when something bad happens to your life where you lose a loved one? You know, you really get down onto the why you're here. And that's it. We call it work. Our work that I'm doing with my team doesn't really feel like work. It's, it's, it's a lot of play and love. But that is the end goal for all this. So fantastic that it's a lot of fun, that it's based in, in a lot of things that we can do well. Um, but that's the experiment we're trying to, to bring to the table. There is some steps, though. I've got a few steps on how to get a wallet. I've seen amazing presenters before me eliminate some of these steps. We have Link's wallet step up and say, you know, they're going to make accounts easier. This whole two days, you've heard about free accounts and EOs from Cents. So some of these steps, my next presentation, whether it's tomorrow or next week or next month, it's going to be less steps of this stickiness of this, you know, you know, and to get users into into these platforms. Uh, but right now, I just like to see who does have uh, an EOS wallet. All right. Who would like one? You're going, oh, okay, great. Uh, right now we did, uh, we've seen many free wallets given out uh, through, uh, through sets. Um, if you put your name in, in uh, Telegram that you need a wallet, we'll send you a code, a free code right now. We did have the nice people at Token Pocket uh, give us some free codes so we can get you a free wallet. If you're not familiar with EOS, the beautiful thing is that the transactions after you have a wallet are free and super quick. You do need some resources, so usually it does cost to get a wallet. So we're trying to make it easy for participants here today that you know at least we can take that friction out of it that it's, you know you won't it won't cost you to get a wallet today. See a lot of obviously familiar faces in the crowd. Show of hands again. Who had EOS before May twenty second? All right. Well, if you check your wallet, you actually already have some crown. And why May twenty second is really dear to our heart, it was the launch of Crown in Puerto Rico. Went down to get gracious help from Luke Stokes. And from that experience, Puerto Rico has a, have a big place in our heart now. Um, our crown that is in your wallet, it is going to expire by May 22nd of 2020. So I wouldn't wait another second. I'd go right into your wallet right now and send it to a friend. Uh, you can send as many as you want. You can send as you know decimals if you want. Let's just send one. So, but just send one on, and that claims your tokens. Now, if you're not sure, you have too many friends, and they're going to be feeling bad that you didn't send them crown. And they weren't the first person. You're going to upset the boat here. You can send uh, crown to best costume one. Uh, we've been watching as well, you know, today. So, uh, so at the end of the day, at the same time, Sense is going to give out. Some awards for best costume uh, will be given out awards uh, in Crown as well. Bam, Green Crown. Well, great. What is Crown? Oh, sorry, more engagement. Yeah, kind of so. <coughs> At the back of the room, we uh, we asked people just to drop 
what they would like to contribute to the EOS pawn shop. Um, the concept there was just to get you, you know, utilize this wallet if you had it before, to see really how easy it is. Uh, we were expecting quite a bit more engagers, part of our crown team, um, with the wildfires in California, and, uh, and you know, we were about four people short. So we were really had a, a really good intent. It didn't manifest as we, we predicted, but we really wanted to bring other crypto people, whether it be Litecoin or Bitcoiners in, because we do know when you're really working and passionate about a project, it's hard to see outside of that project. And I just know personally, people that haven't seen EOS before and seen the wallet, you do really amaze them on how quick and easy and fast this is. Um, so if you are one of those, hopefully, uh, if this is the first time, hopefully we can give you that experience to show, wow, um, you know, there is something to, to pay, pay attention to. Um, some interesting stickers, some, uh, some things I've gathered. I'm in the uh, agriculture hemp industry, go to a lot of uh, industrial hemp shows and CBD shows, so uh, there's some CBD samples and stickers and a couple of fun things. There's some great one-of-a-kind uh, EOS shirts. So by all means, uh, it's based on faith. You'll see a little wallet address on the back of the little stickers. You send some crown to the address and just take your did you good? We don't need any any middleman in the middle to uh, to work with it. Um, we did have plans for some more engagements. Uh, I'm going to skip over them because they didn't manifest. Uh, best costume. If you're dressed up, we'll see who's got the best costume. And if we, uh, I'm feeling pretty gracious today. I think we'll give up your best one, two, and three. Um, where I'm trying to bring you is to see the system that we're building on of governance called a DAC. So with the wallets, I guess maybe show of hands again. If you have a wallet, uh, how many people have a Lynx wallet? All right. How many people have a Lynx wallet on Android? Okay, so that's one of the easier ones if you go into I guess through the wallet, you can access our DAT client. And our DAT client is where, as a member, you now can use those crown to vote on a custodian. And links uh, on Android, there's a little explorer. When you go down to the bottom, there's a little button that says Explorer. There's three buttons on the top right where there's a little, um, uh, a little search bar shows up. You just put this domain in and you can get right to our right to our, our explorer, or right to our uh, client. Unfortunately, the Apple version of Lynx does not give you that same option. Um, if you would like uh, another wallet, uh, the token pocket does have a little explorer as well that can be used on either Apple or Android, and you can get right to this, uh, this client. Um, and you'll notice the first thing that pops up there is a constitution. So the Constitution is showing you what our group has put together as a collective of what we feel is important to the group and, uh, and kind of the rules of the community. I see in the future that when tools and our team and, and other teams you know, assist that um, you might want a more refined group. This is, this is pretty broad right now that you maybe have a constitution that be more centric on your community and, and your needs. And notice right after you go into that uh, sign the constitution that you can look at the custodians and vote for the custodians right on chain, no latency, one click. In this case, we you get to vote for five. Um, for Crown, we have uh, a total number of 11 custodians uh, and we can have as many candidates as, uh, as we want. Right now we have 12 candidates. As a member, we've heard a lot about funding and this new model of DAX and DAOs and how many of us see it as, as the future. 
that many of us right now see as a way to fund, fund projects or require projects. Right now, as a member, you can submit a proposal. We have a lot of members joining that are submitting proposals just to promote trend, which is fun. It's fantastic. Um, where we're going with this, though, is, is a little bit higher in a sense that we want to reward you for what you really feel is meaningful. One of the people that really put themselves out there and are is rewarding her community is Kai Prima, and you'll see her on a, a lot of promotions and, and videos. And what's dear to her heart, I can let her talk in a second, maybe, if be appropriate, um, is content creation. So she submitted a proposal to reward people to create content. So just one example of what's meaningful. We've had a few more proposals. You can look them up. When you go into this client, I did a proposal here to reward a lot of people, a lot of crown, just for this conference. So um, you can share the link. But all I wanted to get through is that it's live right now. You submit this to custodians' votes, and bam, you can end up with a crown in your account. One way we want to reward participation and, and drive engagement is to really reward the token holders on EOS that have engaged in all the incredible apps that have built, been built at or were live or people were participating them, in them as of May 22nd. So just last week we did a, a drop to all the EOS holders that had EOS on May 22nd. And we have a schedule to drop Crown on these eight fantastic apps. If you're not familiar with them, please look them up. We will be rewarding the community that has the most engagement to claim their Crown. And we will be looking for next apps uh, whether it's Sense, Emanate, and a lot of incredible apps that just weren't live or had members being active on them at May 22nd. And this will be going on, uh, we call it a multi fair drop. So, really, just rewarding the people that are being active and contributing to the chain. Um, we don't like to talk what we're going to do. Um, we kind of, I guess it's maybe my farm mentality, we don't talk about things until it's in the bin. I can speculate all year long on how my crop's going to do, but what's, what point is it until it's there? But the bigger vision is that we do have communities through my supply chain and current businesses that see the, the advantage and use to reward their existing communities. One is a, a notification app for a herbal health company rewards crown to clients when they take their supplements. Another one, the code name is just wet app right now. It's a lifestyle product. It rewards crown for their feedback. We do have a very innovative um, non-vote buying way to incentivize voters. So please tune in to Crown Dad Proxy to learn a little more about that. We'd like to talk to you about that if you're interested after the presentation. And I'd like to officially announce that we'd like to, you to join us in Puerto Rico for our one year anniversary on May 22nd. Up to that point, we're going to engage the community for you to decide what you'd like to be participating in in Puerto Rico. Um, Right now, it's very broad and saying five fun filled days. Um, but please stay tuned to our uh, channel and uh, yeah.
find all the rest of our information here. Oh, I do have a call to action. If you could go to any of these actions that you're doing, will be rewarded. I have a bunch of crown, so don't leave the room. If there was a lot more people in this room, you'd be getting less. But because you showed up, you're getting quite a bit of crown. If you do join our YouTube channel, if we get a hundred people join our channel, this long name could be just crown instead of that long list of numbers. So my call to action to you, if you do join uh, our YouTube channel, we'll crown you. Thank you.